You know when they leave the security tag inside your bag and you're kind of like, okay, how do I solve this problem? Do I get scissors? Do I try and do this myself? If I do, then it's just gonna like, but if it doesn't work and then I try and go into the store and then I can't return it. Just a lot of panic went into this, but like, little accessory within my accessory. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hi, I'm Kimia. It is so nice to meet you and have you over here in Kimmy's closet to the point where I did the hi, like a super high pitched what's up? Um, <laughs> anyway, today's video is a haul because in my last haul I said I was done with shopping and um, I'm never gonna have another haul again and that was it for the hauls. I was obviously just lying because we are back at it again with another one. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with Zara. I placed an order and this is the reason that I had to fill up my cart. It is the cutest little bag. It is a basket bag. I am just, I'm obsessed with it. It is so freaking cute. I'm so excited to style this. It's just like a box bag and like, wait for it. They, they left a little surprise inside. I, I got this and I opened it and I was like, what is going on? You know when they leave the security tag inside your bag and you're kind of like, okay. Yeah, so I have to definitely go back and ask them to take that off. This doesn't even close anymore. I must say there could have been worse surprises to find in the purse. Still, I, I don't know. The bag also comes with a chain strap if you want to wear it across the shoulder or body. And I just think this is so cute. I'm gonna wear this a lot in the spring. I already know it. This bag was under 50, which is nice because a lot of the basket bags are so expensive. So excited to play around with this one. The next item I got, it's like total Chanel coffee, but obviously nothing similar to them. I got these little heels that are literally like the Chanel heels. They have the block and then the front is two-tone with the black and then the kind of like nudish pink. I'm gonna wear them with light jeans, dark jeans, really all my jeans, dresses. I can really play around with these and they're just gonna make every outfit a little more elevated. One day maybe I'll have the Chanel ones, but as of right now, these $45 ones from Zara are gonna have to do it for me. Next item is a coat that I actually got on sale. This is originally like $170 and I got this for $50. To be honest, I don't even know if I really like it, so I might be taking it back. My sister's always asking me, why do you keep buying things that make you look like a sheep? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I like the leather panels and I like the, the pockets and everything like that. I don't necessarily need this, but this is just so soft and it's, it's really cold and it's always raining here. So I definitely need another coat, right? Like justify this for me. <laughs> I want it. That is everything from Zara. I did good, you guys. I didn't go crazy there. Reformation never really has sales, but they were having a random one and I got this little bustier style top. It's this like cotton material and I think this is gonna be so lovely for spring and summer. I just love the big buttons running across the chest, but it's on the uh, right side of it. Actually, it's on the left side of it. So obviously I don't know left from right. It's nice to find a company that cares about the environment and is also like selling nice products because fashion is so wasteful. Since a lot of the trendier stores are fast fashion, um, it's nice to have a store like Reformation that sells super cute classic pieces and um, isn't like killing the environment. I can wear this if I wanna go out, as if that ever happens, or I can wear this to go to the beach if I wanted to. So really you have options with this. Next, I have this basic top, which also fits like a dream. But the material is really soft. It has a V-neck and it's just striped and long sleeve. Another very basic piece, but something that I'll definitely get a lot of use out of, and I already have worn this a couple times, and I am loving it. And then I also got this black button-up, or is it button-down, button-up, button-down, sometimes I forget. I actually don't own a black blouse like this, which is strange considering this is like a super basic closet item that I don't own, but the fabric of this is really nice. It's not like sheer, which a lot of black button-ups are, and I like the fit of this. It's like a little bit cropped because I do have a kind of like shorter body, and this this top fits me really well and it's still like loose and comfy and it has like the kind of vintage look but it's also very modern and classy. Next I have a pair of jeans. It just has this seam running down the front which is kind of the reason that I really like this. I wore these jeans yesterday and my coworkers were like oh my god they're so cute they fit you really well and like I wear jeans every day to the point where I'm like have all my jeans been horrible that you're getting so excited about this? But that's the negative side of my brain talking. It fits really well. I think that's the biggest part. It's high-waisted. The top where the jean buttons up, there's no like loose area. So I think that's what makes it really flattering. And then from the back, it makes your butt look a little bit nicer because the pockets are positioned in a way that I think makes your butt look nice. <laughs> These were from multiple reformation orders because when you think of that shipping cost, your tears 
kind of falls down. This store, All Saints, if you have heard of it or not, it is one of my favorite stores. It always has been. I just love the style and everything that they have on the website and in the physical stores. It's just like the most beautiful stuff ever. This coat was basically 60% off, so I had to pick it up. And it's just, ugh, I don't have anything like this. It's kind of like an oversized dusty rose moto like wool coat. <laughs> it's a lot of things in one, but it works. It's such nice quality. And it was the last one in store, and I just like... I had to commit to it and I'm very happy I did. I think this is something that I will continue to wear. I think it's beautiful and I'm just going to take good care of it and I've wanted something from that store for so long and I've never been able to commit to anything and then this one came along and I was just like, okay. There's a lot of jackets like this but I think the quality is kind of what made me invest in this one. It is a pink jacket but I think it's like girly and kind of more like edgy which is what I love. This is my favorite newest coat addition to my family. That's why I'm not too sure about my Zara jacket because I'm not in love with it like I am with this one. Another online order that I placed was from mango.com. The reason I started a cart was because of this super cute sweater. This is just such a nice color. It's kind of like a creamy beigey oatmeal. I'm such a grandpa as I'm describing this. I just love creamy beigey oatmeal, but I really do love oatmeal as a food. Like it's probably my favorite. Um, I can eat it for every meal with like some peanut butter and some cinnamon. Mmm, so good. Anyway, I love the color of this and the fabric is so soft. What gets me is the sleeves. I don't have any sweaters that look like this and I think this is fun. It smells so good. Oh, it's because it's because I wore it. <laughs> I was like, why does it smell good? Um, yeah, I wore this already and I sprayed perfume on it. The only thing is I tried to wear it with my leather jacket and like fitting in this sleeve in a jacket is just kind of impossible. So it's pretty much this sweater and nothing else. That's the only downside to this. But other than that, the neck is really nice and the fabric is so soft. This was originally around like $70, um, but I got it on sale. So that's why I committed to it because I was like, okay, I have enough sweaters. But this one just kind of checked all my boxes. I know I don't need more t-shirts, but this one had lightning bolts on it and like it it was so exciting. Like look at how fun this is. And I know that this isn't for everyone, but honestly, like it's super comfy. This is something that I know I'm gonna wear regardless. Like if I hate it, I'm gonna wear it as pajamas and I'll just have the coolest, most bedazzled lightning bolt pajamas ever. So it kind of gives me like Power Ranger vibes and kind of the reason I bought it. <laughs> From Urban Outfitters, this shirt is my favorite and it's so ridiculous, but I got this friends t-shirt. Look at this. Like, <laughs> is this not amazing? Like Chandler's hair. This t-shirt is everything and it was overpriced and I have no regrets. Super a fan of this one. <laughs> Look at Monica's face. Oh, she gives me life. And I also got this sweater that has a deep V. It's a little more relaxed boho kind of sweater and it's so soft. So I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. And I say that about everything, but honestly, like when I buy something, I'm like, am I going to wear this multiple times? Do I really like it? How will I feel in this? Like, how do I feel in this? All these questions run through my mind and this checked all those boxes from another store called Oak and Fort. I got this sweater and I don't own any sweaters this color. I don't really own anything this color. And what got me is this like cut out part of the shoulder. I'm just gonna start cutting up all my sweaters. I'm gonna take, take scissors and just start cutting things. It's like so basic and so grandpa chic. Got this like little slit on the shoulder that makes it a little different. Nice like thick material. I feel like there's like a bug crawling on that window. I really hope not. I'm not gonna do anything about it. And then it's gonna like make babies. I really hope this bug is on the outside and not on the inside. All right. Oh my God, there's another one. Okay, I think they're outside. <laughs> they are outside, you guys. We're okay. It's another like potato sacky kind of sweater, which, you know, I love. You love, hopefully. And the reason I'm not allowed to go into shoe stores by myself is because I bought another pair of Converse. <laughs> In my defense, this is different. This is like a creamy color, and then the little Chuck Taylor sign is gold, so I don't have any like this, and also it's a high top. This is gonna be one of my spring essentials, just because they're so easy to pair with everything, and I just love the like feel of a brand new shoe. Like You could touch the bottom and not like feel grossed out, but then give it three days and this is gonna be great. So in three days, I'll have a gray pair of Converse. That's kind of gross, but so am I. I also picked up this denim jacket. It is this Levi's cropped trucker, it's not leather, um, denim jacket. What is different about this is it doesn't have a collar and my other denim jacket does. And also the other one is a lot lighter. It has kind of like an edgier sort of like trucker look to it, whereas my other one is a lot more like girly, kind of Abercrombie and Fitch style. 
Abercrombie and Fitch <laughs> that was necessary for you to get my point. This is originally $150. I got it for $50. I know I'm gonna wear this in the spring and summer because you can easily pair something like this with a dress or cute shorts or anything like that. I'm gonna keep this in my closet for a little bit until spring and summer come around and then I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna wear it all the time because the length is really nice as well. And from Aritzia, I got this top also on sale. You guys, I'm doing good. Like, it's not like I'm going crazy again. I feel like people always get mad at me when I shop and like, in my defense, I do it really well. <laughs> Stop getting mad at me. I also can't unfold this. Okay, it has this like deep plunging neckline and then the bottom is a little like peplum style, just a little bit. And I like the cut of it. It goes down at the front. I think this is such a delicate top. I love how the fabric drapes and I think this is something that you can wear to a nicer dinner or really wear it for like any occasion. And then I had to make a little trip to Sephora. The reason I went was because I wanted this living proof full conditioner. It says weightlessly hydrates. So yeah, I've been using this for the past week and I do really like it. I didn't have a conditioner before that was doing anything and this one I feel like is a good conditioner. It's a little pricey but at the same time I'm like I want to see if this really does anything. I do see a difference already with this conditioner but we'll see how it goes after a month of using it. From the same brand I got the Frizz Weightless Spray. So this is just a finishing spray. Um, you can use it to style your hair as well. I have very frizzy hair, it drives me crazy. My hair frizzes up like a freaking balloon. Then I also got this Whey Finishing Cream. Like lotion for your hair, this lightweight cream protects from heat styling, smooths dry ends, and gives fine medium hair that lived in look with a light reflective shine. I'm gonna use it and um, see if it works. I also got this Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Eye Visible Dark Circle Eraser. I'm not too concerned about wrinkles, however, I do have dark circles and if it's gonna do both in one, I'm willing to give it a try. My eye circles are just so bad, like I always look like I've been sleep deprived and it's frustrating because I'm like, I don't want this on my face. Like it's not, it's fine, but also like I want it gone, <laughs> you know? All right guys, that is it for this haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below your favorite clothing item or product in this haul because you guys know I like to shop so I wanna know what your favorite item is. Until next time, I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone. We're good for the daylights. We're good jumping state lines. I